Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, a widow and her daughter lived in a house near the woods. The girl was very good and very happy to help everyone. And since she always wore a red cape with a hood, she was called Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood also had a grandmother that she loved very much. She lived in a house in the woods and the mother and granddaughter visited her often. One day the mom said to her daughter, The forester came round this morning and said that grandma was ill. We need to bring her some medicines and something to eat. I have a lot of work to do now. You will go to grandma's little red riding hood and bring her this basket. Very well, mom, replied the girl. She took the basket into which her mom put cough syrup, raspberry juice and fruit cake. Remember, little red riding hood, go straight to grandma's, don't stop anywhere and don't go off the path because there is a dangerous wolf who lives in the forest. The girl promised to remember her mom's warnings and hopping happily, she followed the path among the trees. Birds were singing beautifully in the forest. Red squirrels were jumping from branch to branch. And Little Red Riding Hood was walking and looking around. At one point, she saw a meadow full of flowers. Oh, they are so beautiful! I will pick some for Grandma. I am sure they will make her happy. The girl squatted down among the lilies of the valley. The wolf picked off from behind the tree. What are you doing in the forest, little red riding hood? I am picking flowers for my ill Grandma. And where does your Grandma live? asked the wolf with interest. In a house in the forest, over there, next to the three oak trees, replied the girl. He then said goodbye quickly and ran straight to grandma's house. He knocked on the door and grandma, who thought it was her granddaughter, opened the door. The wolf waited for that very moment and swallowed the tiny old lady. He then lay in her bed and got under the covers. Now I will wait for the granddaughter, he muttered under his breath. In the meantime, Little Red Riding Hood was going on her way with the basket and a bouquet of flowers. She entered Grandma's housekeeping. Good day, Grandma! She called. When no one answered, the girl walked up to the bed. Grandma! What big eyes you have! She said. All the better to see you with. Grandma! What big ears you have! Ah, all the better to hear you with! Grandma! What big teeth you have! All the better to eat you with! Called the wolf and he swallowed the girl. He then went right under the covers and fell asleep. Just at that very moment, the forester was walking past Grandma's house. He decided to visit the ill Grandma. He was very surprised when he heard loud snoring, and instead of Grandma, he found a sleeping wolf. He immediately understood what had happened. Just you wait, said the forester. He carefully cut open the wolf's belly and freed Grandma and the granddaughter. 
grandma took pity on the wolf and stitched up his belly. When the animal awoke and saw the forester with his rifle, he ran far, far, far away, terrified. No one ever saw him again. Grandma and the granddaughter thanked the forester for his help and ate together the cake that Little Red Riding Hood's mom baked.